All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless me here talking about real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. Uh, is David Coverdale attempting to replace himself in Whitesnake? <laughs> That's the question of this video. It appears that uh, he could be grooming his uh, successor, Dino Jalusic, who is one of the greatest up and coming rock vocalists. I mean, not up and coming, but actually here and delivering. Uh, Dino, by the way, sounds a bit like David Coverdale, but you know, David plays uh, no instruments currently in Whitesnake. Well, I think he can play acoustic. I mean, David can play instruments, but the point is he's just up there singing. Whereas Dino, Dino, I think plays bass and he plays keyboards. I think he can play drums. Uh, he has been singing since age five. And you'll do a couple of holy crap Batmans when you hear him, because you're going to think, hey, who needs Coverdale at this point? Um, I can visualize David Coverdale thinking, okay, I'll hand the baton off after this year. He'll join the band, and then he'll take over, and then I will uh, rake in you know, the royalties and so forth as I continue to own the franchise. Um, that's what I would do. I mean, look, Coverdale, I think he had the hip replacement, right? Um, and vocally speaking, let's just be honest, folks. David's voice is getting very screechy. I mean, he can hit notes and stuff, but it's not pleasant. He had so much more bottom end in his vocal register when White Snake. Uh, Deep Purple and, you know, all the stuff he did back in the day. Uh, he had such a powerful voice. Um, some people considered him to be like a poor man's Robert Plant, but he also had that depth, you know, which I think uh, he's lost. Uh, it's not an easy catalog to sing, especially if you're going to go back through the band's history. Uh, Dino Jalusic, not going to have a problem with that. Nope. Um, and it's interesting. It's This could be the future of the way bands do this. Like if they find somebody who is such a dead ringer and who's super talented. I mean, this guy, he did music, he did theater. Let's not forget about Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Almost forgot about that. He's worked with George Lynch. He was in a band called Dirty Shirley, not to be confused with Dirty Honey. Okay, you can get those things confused. I'm I'm getting old, so it's Kind of easy to do that. Um, this is just a really top-notch musician. Um, I mean, it's kind of like having a Jeff Scott Soto come into Journey, except the vocal match is there, whereas Jeff had a different sounding voice, but they're equal in their ability to sing like nobody's business. Um, by the way, Soto was in uh, TSO, and I think he might still be. Um, Jeff should be in another band uh, making lots of money. <laughs> he just should be. I mean, he's doing okay, probably on his own, but so Dino gets to join Whitesnake and um, I'm sure he will make some money doing that. The band, by the way, is um, going to be out on tour again with Foreigner at some point. And I'm thinking, you know, Mick Jones, he might want to recruit his replacement. I know there's another guitarist in Foreigner that knows all the parts to what Mick Jones plays, but both, you know, Mick and Dave, David Coverdale, they can go out, have a few cocktails and watch the show and get all the, the benefits, you know, just rake in the money. I mean, I think that is the business model moving forward. Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley, I think they've already probably got their eyes on replacements. Who knows? I mean, this could be the future. Some people won't like it, but from my perspective, if you find a talent like Dino Jalusic and you put him into White Snake, that's just brilliant. You know, it's um, it's a smart move. So, in any event, David Coverdale may have found his replacement. Um, David is out there with Dino, so it's not going to be tomorrow. But um, you can see this transition coming, and I think a lot of rock fans will probably be okay with it. We'll see, though. You always have those people. It's not the original band. And it's like, OK, well, the original band can't do this anymore or they're, they don't sound like the original band anymore. This is the dilemma that you have. Um, is it a cover band? 
could be a cover band. But again, call it White Snake Next Generation or something. You know, they did that with Star Trek, so they can do it with White Snake. 